Hi, I'm Steve from Trail Less Traveled. Today, we're gonna to talk about what we had to do to prepare our vehicle and our trailer for towing. We're going to major for the height of the ball for the tow vehicle and then also install an anti-sway control kit. Let's get started. Uh, how to measure the height of the ball you need on your tow vehicle for the trailer that you're towing. This is important because it keeps your trailer level and as safe as possible when you're towing. The three things that you need is your tow vehicle, a tape measure, and your trailer. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our vehicle and our trailer are on level ground. First measurement that we do is we measure the coupler on the trailer. We take the measurement of the bottom part of that. We have 21 inches. The second measurement that we take is into the actual hitch of the tow vehicle where your stinger goes into and we measure to the top part of that hole. And we are at 17 and a half inches. What you do with these measurements is you take coupler height minus the hitch height and we have three and a half inches. Now that means we actually need a three and a half inch rise. On some vehicles, particularly on a truck, it's going to be higher and so that number may be switched. It may be 21 inches here and 24 and a half inches there. So that would mean you actually need three and a half inch drop. We wanna make sure and get the stinger that's appropriate for our travel trailer and our tow vehicle. So we need a three and a half inch rise, then that can go right into the hitch and then hook up to the trailer and have it level. We're gonna be installing a sway control kit on our trailer. Let's go ahead and get everything unboxed and we'll get it all laid out so we can get the process started. So I have all the pieces to the sway control kit laid out here. This is everything that you need. What I did was purchase this extra piece that actually goes on the stinger of your tow vehicle and then this ball goes through here so you can attach your sway control to it. I'll put links to this stuff in the description so you know everything that we used here today. Now that we have everything laid out, we're ready to do our first measurement. The first measurement is for the mounting plate for the ball that goes on the side of the trailer frame. You have to measure from the center of the coupler back 24 inches on the right side of your trailer. You can do this on the left side, we only have a single sway control kit, so we're going to do it on the right side. Once you have that mark 24 inches back from the center part of your coupler on your trailer, you then start putting marks where you're going to be actually making holes. For our particular sway control kit, you use 11 32nd drill bit to drill into the frame so you can mount this plate and then mount the ball to the frame. Let's get drilling. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the eight holes needed for the mounting plate. So we're gonna go ahead and mount the trailer tongue ball mount. One of the screws was difficult getting in there and it actually stripped it. That's just the quality of the screw. So, you know, we'll just get a new screw and it'll be fine. Let's go get the piece put on the stinger. Once we have that on there and attach the sway control ball, then we'll actually be able to connect the sway control kit. So in order to put this bracket piece on, we have to take our ball off of our stinger and then put this on it and then reattach the ball and then we can actually put that trailer sway ball on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh. 
So just to make sure that we're putting this on correctly, we wanna make sure that this is off to the right side since we are bolting everything to the right side of the trailer. Now that that's tightened down there, we can put the trailer ball on here. Thank you, Van White. Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, if you have the proper tools, a little bit easier. So you can go ahead and make fun of me. Okay, now that all of that's tied on there, we can go actually hook the sway control kit up. Now we need to get the trailer hooked up to the tow vehicle so we can get the sway control kit put on. Now that we have the trailer hooked up to the tow vehicle, we'll go ahead and get the trailer tongue ball hooked up. And you just want to make sure and put this pin through there to make sure that it's secure. Really easy. And then, after doing that, you want to make sure and lubricate these threads so that you can loosen it easier and also tighten it once we get trailer tongue ball on there. So you want to turn this counterclockwise three times to loosen the tension on this. One, two, three. So now you should be able to pull this out and then put that on that ball. And then once again, make sure and put your pin through here to secure it in place so it doesn't come out of there. So now that we have both ends attached on the ball then we need to tighten this firmly until it's parallel with that and so then you have to make some adjustments as you go along you have to go and road test this and if it feels like there's a little bit too much give then you want to tighten this one down only a quarter inch at a time so then in order to turn it off you have to turn it over to here and then you should be able to pull it off in there and so then you can detach your trailer so I want to thank you for watching this video hopefully you found it useful ask any questions below and if you want make sure and like this video and then subscribe to our channel see you on the trail Thank you.